Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 219. Everything over 200 sounds like a really big number. It's September 9th in 2021. We're here doing this meeting right now. It's being recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here right now. We've been talking about music and the new Matrix 4 thing just come out and how its music goes into its history. And then Eric, who's joining us um, from old history of Wix or mid history of Wix, Remind me of Basement Jackson. That's what I'm going to be listening to. So you want to put that on in the background, you can join me right there. What are we doing today? Today we are doing, uh, say hi if you're here. I know we have a bunch of people. Say hi so you can see you. Uh, Jacob, you're here. Say hi. Um, we're going to do triage, just new issue triage because we got through all the old ones. We've got Wix 4's issues all cleaned up and ready to be um, addressed. We will probably be adding a few more today. Uh, then we will uh, do design discussions if uh, time allows. I'm a little worried about some of the uh, issues that are open here because we have some people who are ex excited to talk about those as we do. And then we'll always do the usual things for questions and comments and stuff like that. So since I expect we're going to spend our time in triage, let's go do that. Bob, you ready? Make it so. Make it so. I like that. All right. Um, Star Trek day yesterday, so, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you know, I'm a Star Wars kid, so. Yeah, yeah I understand. Deeper, deeper Star Trek stuff. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, burn does not repair. Like we're skipping that. Um, port files in use. We said we wait a little bit. I volunteered to look at it. So oh. yep. I will continue to volunteer to look at it. All right. Bob's queuing these up. Do we need to take these out of triage? until you go look at them, and then you're going to bring them back to triage? If we take them out, I will never look at them. So, Okay. Then you can tag them however you like. Um, all right. ASP.net something. Have you tried? Oh, this is the one I was thinking of. Um, then two weeks. I'm willing to let it go one more week or one more meeting. One more meeting. Maybe. It's been, been, it's been a full meeting cycle, so normally I'm I'm ready to kill at that point. But I don't know. These version numbers still bug the. Well, I, yeah, I mean they're obviously wrong, which is like okay. So we, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take any action. All right. On, I'm not spending more time on this issue. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm willing to close it now. I, you yeah, know, I, let's, it's let's been a cycle. It. I'm I'm happy to close after that point. All right. It's this unlikely. Has... Someone's going to come back. It's not coming back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the whole thing is is really messed up on that one. All right. This one is going to have lots of discussion. I, I'm inclined to make Eric wait just because. So, yes, yeah, so make Eric wait. Yep. Yep. There you go. Um, I, I am going to skip it just because I think we're going to get through the rest of these very quickly. Um, because this may be where we spend the rest of the meeting. Maybe not. Maybe it'll go fast. I don't know. I haven't really been deeply involved. Feature requests. Support uh, external heat extensions. Um, oh, I see. This is the person hanging out with us now. Huh, great. In cahoots is here. Very good. Um, <sighs> heat. Extensibility. I just don't care about heat. Extensibility that much in general. It's, it doesn't add a lot. Um, in cahoots is heat. Is iHeat extension in Wix extensibility? Probably. It's like tossed in there. It's not. It. Oh, it's not. Oh, okay. It's not. All right. So I created a, I had created a separate harvesters.expensibility, but then when we went to the modern repo, Rob yeah, got rid of it. I don't want to, yeah. It's, it's not worth maintaining it for the space that it's like, look, if you're using heat, just link against heat. <laughs> okay. So it's, so it's in, so it's in heat. Heat.exe? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually in heat actually. Okay. Probably. That sounds right. Um, okay. yeah. Even if they are a niche. Right. So it's probably just a matter of fixing this up so it does the right thing. If like, it's yeah. isolated in, in heat.exe, which is why I was asking, then it's all yeah, we can we can keep it there and and you know it can grow as necessary and it sounds like it was an omission yeah it's a yeah 
does anybody really use this? And hey, look, someone actually uses it. And right. they're willing to show up at the, the meeting today, uh, which is fantastic. So um, this, this is... So I think this the questions the were question. basically, should this stuff move into extensibility? And mm -hmm. then the other question was, I'd have to go back to the bug, but there was another question there about I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I I wouldn't know anything about forgetting everything. Um, <laughs> um yeah, this is this is fine. It's basically just putting the extensions into the extension manager so they get found and all that kind of stuff. Um yeah, we should just bring it back. I, I don't I don't feel the need to bring it to extensibility. I'm not, you know, you've, I don't want to push this out wider and it's definitely not used by the, the core. So I, um, so I don't feel we need to put it in extensibility. We're just going to keep it in the corner of um, heat. It would be fine in there. Everything should work in the end the same as it did before because the code hasn't disappeared. We just have to connect the dots given the new command line parser. So, um, all right. So if you, uh, if in cahoots, if you have the PR for this, then go ahead and you can go ahead and fire that off at Wix 4. Um, the other thing he needed was he wanted the harvesters to be public. The harvesters inside, oh, these? Yeah. But I think the Wix 4 way is to create a service and an interface and yeah, expose it that that's way. That's probably the right thing to do. So I would. Well, yeah, we didn't. Heat wasn't in Wix 4, so in the preview zero, it's in Wix 4. It wasn't in the preview zero, so we haven't put the whole um, system together for building against these things. So it doesn't surprise me it wasn't there. Um, the the getting the DLL or the XE DLL reference, all that kind of stuff. So um, so these public, yeah, it would be. All right, I th think. I don't want to just um, thank you, Bob. Um, I don't. All right. So, all right. So, we should do. I think it'd be fine to take this pull request. I don't want to make these things internal, like Sean said, just the classes internal and pull them. It would be more of a, hey, get these out of the extensibility system and just put them in there. If you want to do that as part of the same pull request, it would be fine. Um, or I have a thing against growing features, feature requests that keep morphing. Um, alternatively, you could open a separate issue to say, hey, can we have these as available as um, services? And we'll track that if you don't want to do all the work yourself in there in Cahoots. Well, so, so, but again, these are these are in heat.exe. So, I mean, is it as simple as publishing a NuGet package for reference purposes to get to those types? Well, they're internal. They're not public. Well, and Sorry. they're also they're concrete as opposed to interfaces, and so we've we've try, been trying to avoid that. Um, I mean, maybe it's overkill for where we're at with the heat. With heat, yeah, that is kind of where I'm going with that. Um, we could just I'm, make them public, and I mean, you know, that's the the very low bar. I this is the you know. Perfect versus goodness. Yes. Um, if if you know we're not planning on spending a lot of time in heat, so I don't I don't want to like you know break scenarios in lieu of waiting for you know architectural purity. 
because we know what happens with architects. <laughs> they turn into um, corrupted monitoring systems of uh, matrix. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, that's fair. So, Inkoot, are are you looking at bringing the the PR to hook the command line up? And then I, let's see what it looks like these being public uh, to get into Wix 4. So they're there for you in preview one um, as we work on the how they all get distributed piece then. I'll have to pause here for a second. Do, 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 let's see. So I think the higher order bit also is that these all stay inside just the heat space. I don't think we don't get promoted to extensibility. So that's fine. If these just were public and then the fix to make the command line work correctly, which it should, that should just work, then, and then we have all the MS build stuff, which isn't wired in properly at all right now. So, because it's MS build. Yeah, because it's MS build, which is all just kind of getting that. Yeah. All right. Let's see what that PR looks like in cahoots, and we'll um, we can go from there. Oh, Prime Gaming. I was like, why does he have a little crown thing by his head? But uh, this shows how well I know Twitch. <laughs> Copy and paste yeah. the source files and paste an extension in internal settings. Yeah. Making them public should be no big deal. Yeah. Or should they work were, fine. They were before. All right. All right, cool. We'll take a look at the PR and we'll roll from there. Um, so this is back, which uh, this is the burn writes the run once key so it can handle the failure to, um, or the restarts, all the restart scenarios and machine crash scenarios and all that kind of stuff. So it can resume after uh, said restart or fail, uh, machine failure. And there are uh, antivirus technologies out there that get very upset about burn doing that and then block them, which is annoying as all get out because this is the only way we know to solve this problem um, without being a service. I guess we could sell ourselves as a service. No, sorry. Um, so, well, I mean, there are other ways as well. I mean, one of the, I mean, you know, we could use task manager. One of the problems is that we register for both the restart case, which is common, and the power failure case, which is less common and probably less important. Um, so we could certainly limit the scope to only writing one run once when we need to. We know we're going to reboot. Yeah, but we're probably going to hit the same problem then, right? We, I, we would have the same problem then, but it would only trigger in the cases of you know a restart reboot, required. mid mid chain reboots. So. You can argue whether that's, you know, whether it's better to fail early if it's going to fail in that case, but but I just wanted to be contrary. There are things we could do, um, but also we keep telling people, and, and I see no mention in this issue that the bundle is signed because that's usually been mm. the solution. Yeah. Um, if you're to, signed, you can be trusted. Calming antivirus. Yeah. Unless the administrator has done the thing that really blocks locks us down, I think there's yeah, yeah, yeah. there's always that option, right? Um, all right, so I think maybe in the end, um, Sean laid it out. We're like, cool, let's get a whole proposal and all that kind of stuff uh, to say, hey, how should we implement this? Because for five four eight two was closed because we're like, yeah, okay, we're not fixing this as a bug. If someone wants to write the feature, they should open the feature and do so. The, my question here then, is this the feature request or is this, oh no, it's still a bug, I see. So because it's kind of laid out as a bug, um, it's write it up as, all right, so it's, it, what Sean here is correct. What do we do with this issue? Do we close it, say open as a feature? Do we change it, the title to a feature? Um, I guess we're waiting for someone to implement it. So what do we do with this now? I mean, I guess we could give him until next meeting to rewrite as a feature request. Okay. Well, I don't want to edit this 
Yes, that's fine. I don't think the lack of an open issue on this particular um, issue is what's preventing someone from, you know, doing the research and whatnot. Okay. So would we close this if they don't do the work to turn it to a feature? I'd say we close it now. If they open right. another issue, that's great. Okay. I'm I'm okay with that. Sean, sound good? Yeah. All right. Rock and roll. Um, properties with imports in Wispodge user don't work correctly in Votive. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. I thought, aren't user files like like discouraged now? Yeah. Or so am I just imagining I, things? I don't know how much they're used. They get cleaned on my machine all the time because I don't check them in. Um, right. So You're I don't, not supposed to. Yeah. So and they're user files. Yeah. I, I I don't I don't care. This is Votive. If someone wants to go dig into it and make it work, they can do that. Um, we have a vote of milestone, so yep. I'd say we put it there. It goes there, and have fun digging into all that goofiness of the differences between MS Build and Visual Studio and Design Time Build. Ugh. Wow. Oh, could I spend like half an hour talking about how? Never mind. No, we are not. Okay. All right. All right. Um, all right. So this. Can we give this to Ink Hoots, by the way? We can, right? Because he opened it, so he can have it. Does that work that way? Um, Damn it. I just took it for myself. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. You have enough issues up here that you need to do. Right. All right. All right. I think we've made Eric chill out and hang out, listen to us for long enough. I don't have a lot to add to this conversation. I've been watching it go along because you guys have been having a fantastic conversation um, without me. The only thing I was going to say was that it's not here. I guess I saw the mailing list. There is a proposal to add a bunch of Wix bind time variables for constants. I'm not really excited about doing that, um, but that was really my <laughs> a very tiny piece of this overall discussion. So, um, Sean or Bob, I'll let one of you guys take over. Let's not both rush. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I'll say my piece, which is I unfortunately agree we need to solve this issue. Um, another in the long line of things that Windows lies about for, I don't know, cruel reasons. <laughs> um, in the name of backwards compatibility. Yeah, they say that. It's mostly just, you know, to prevent stupid version checking from being stupid, um, which I suppose is that compat. Um, I also agree um, if you look at actually, uh, Rob, can you open the pull request? Um, because I agree the, the next step is uh, to expose that um, for MSIs. So, so on the one hand, yes, let's take the tiniest fix possible um, in V3 so that you know, we don't disrupt V3 overly much, um, which I think Eric accomplished in Burn. Um, but on the other hand, it's like, yeah, people are going to need this inside MSIs. So um, mm, I find it worrisome um, to you know, expand on it, but I think it's you know, kind of a necessary right thing to do. So what's the only other open question for me is, you know, what's the best way to, um, you know, to handle the, the results of this thing. Um, in burn, I think the, the, you know, the magic uh, variables would be sufficient. Um, again, in the interest of keeping it small, um, or non-disruptive. Um, I think in Wix 4, I would like to do something a little bit more, you know, user-friendly, like expose them as, uh, you know, strings. I mean, I think we should keep it how it is, just return what the API returns, and then our hands are clean if Windows starts doing weird stuff like they did here. Yeah, I, I, I think there's a lot to that. 
Yeah, agreed. I absolutely agree that we should have uh, access to the underlying value for that reason. So, but I want to say that you know, going forward, it's not like we don't get lots of notice when Windows takes on a new architecture. So, um, as long as we maintain that that pass through to the underlying value, we've done the job. But we can make it easier for the way more common case of, you know, we're not going to see ARM 128 chips without some notice. I mean, are we going to rush this fix to three? Because it doesn't matter how much notice they give us if we don't yeah. push out a build in enough time. Sorry, I'm not. What's your question? So I, I think Bob said that we should keep the the un the uninterpreted version, and I think he said add an interpreted version that's nicer on top of it, right? So you have both access to both. Well, uh, yes. Um, with the caveat that I said that would be a Wix4 thing. Yes, yes, sorry, in Wix4. Okay, okay, yeah. Definitely yeah, I agree, we, I agree we need to give access to the raw number just because, just because um, it's the safe thing to do. Um, but, again, my, it's, it's, it doesn't look pretty. So I'm thinking the adding strings or string values is would be a nice thing to do in four and not to inappropriate. So yeah, all right. Names like what I don't know, what .NET Core standard start standardizing on or something like that. Um, uh, something like that. I have to. So I've done this already anyway, mm -hmm. as I think I mentioned in the ticket uh, issue, because um, I track the burn platform and the machine platform for burn for 64-bit burn support in Wix 4, um, and I'm using the same API function that Eric points out is lying, so, you know, got to go back and fix that anyway. So at that point, sure, I would go ahead and add, you know, strings for the known today uh, platforms. Yeah, and, and Eric asked, you know, it should be a different property name. I think it would be an additional property name. Right, right. again, strings. I don't... I right. agree. I do not want to lose the the pass through value. Okay. So the only question that I remember then on the pass through value is: is the name correct? It, the I think it's native machine right now, or right native process architecture. Um, yeah, I well, just don't. I don't see how anyone's going to discover that. They're going to have to like read through every single variable to figure out what they want, but maybe that's the best you can do. Search. No one reads. Everyone just searches. Um, I'm fine with it because it again, it's the it's the pass through value. It's so the, I it's the pass through, and that's what Windows calls it. Win32 calls it, it right, machine. right, and and that's why I, I agree with Eric. It's yeah. Let's let, let's embrace the fact that we're exposing that value. Got it. Got it. Not in a creepy way, just. <laughs> Eric comes back and old habits. My, my, my. Um, so, so I think that says that this is correct then? Sean, did I understand that correctly? Was there anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, blame Windows. That we we can we can do that. <laughs> like Bob said. All right. So um, I'm not really interested in the variable. I don't think we should do the variables. I, I, I get what they are, but we should just. <laughs> it's documented. We're done. I don't want to have to document a bunch of other crazy things too. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, anything else to discuss here then? Bob, Sean? Our, I have not taken a deep look into the pull request yet, the V3 pull request. Um, 
it sounds like we're on a bit of a time frame. So are we asking, uh, are we saying we're going to do the review and and a build? Yeah, how did this slip by for so long? Like, why is this a thing now? What changed? The X64 emulation on ARM64. That changed? It's new in Windows 11, right? The the difference is the X64 emulation doesn't give its own program files directory. It, the program files directory is shared between X64 emulated and native ARM64, which is not the, something they've ever done. The emulate the emulated architectures always got their own program files directory. Yeah, this is the first time we have two WOWs. Oh, oh, I right. Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> so this is a, and this is a ten thing. It's a new ten thing, a Windows ten. I think I saw it's going to be an eleven. Only eleven. Okay, because I saw, sure. I saw a check sure in here for 10, win 11 only. Okay, I saw as I was scrolling through one of these, the check for 10, but you know, leave it to Windows to still not telling us the correct version number. Because, okay. yeah, this right here. Oh, that's... Ah, yeah, okay, it was add and win 10, got it. Ah... Got it. Is WoW Process 2. How awesome. Okay. Um, Is WoW Process 2X. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah. So, yeah, all right. Well, well Eric's done the work. We, we took the RM64 stuff before. We'll take it again. Um, uh, Eric, uh, so I'll let you guys finish up on the, if there's anything else left in the PR when we get to it. We'll get a we'll roll a build out for it. Um, something to think about is that we're we're in this transition. Something for Eric to think about, um, which actually applies to everybody out there. But Eric's here, so I'm going to talk to him. Um, and we've worked with Eric. Eric used to work with us all the time, so he knows where this is going. Um, the we're in a transition, which has not been smooth by any uh, stroke of the imagination, but we're going to get to a place where we're not going to be cracking Wix 3 open and going back to Wix 3. So you guys will want to think about when you're moving to Wix 4, which is where we'll be much more likely to take these sort of fixes um, going forward. Not this one, but this sort of, like, let's say a year from now, or whatever, or two years from now, all those kinds of things. Like, where are you moving to Wix 4? Um, what are we doing there? So it's like, the, if you guys haven't started thinking about that, you might want to start thinking about the transition to Wix 4 and what time frame you'll do that. I mean, we're going to have a public release for it, and then we will we will fix the bugs that are um, blocking in it. So it's going to be like Wix 3. Um, we might. We haven't decided how many features we're going to do because the length of Wix 3 is a little bit insane. So we may start a Wix 5 faster where new features go, but we will definitely have to keep Wix 4 working for a long period of time. Um, but going back tons and tons, so we won't get a ton churn of in bug fixes. No, in fact, I expect Wix 4 will have far fewer releases and we will move to five kind of thing. Um, unlike three, where we just kept adding features, because I kept having this dream that burn was going to be there, which is how we got the three five. So anyway, um, I guess then we did burn in a backwards compatible way, so we're able to slot it in the language and all that kind of stuff. But it just extended our time period out forever. And then given a whole bunch of other things that one day I will sit down and plot the history, mostly to remind myself why Wix 4 took forever. Um, yeah, so I, we're in this tricky transition of three to four, and so it just can't say, hey, and you need to 
think about moving to four now because it's not there for you and you need to start thinking about getting out of three because we need to stop spending time on it, but we really do need to do both of those at the same time. And so every time I think about these problems, I get a little depressed, but I'm starting to roll this message out to all the other people that they're gonna, you know, we're starting to roll this message out. You need to start thinking about this, especially a project as large as yours, Eric, you'll wanna think, oh, when do we do the move to Wix 4? And I know a lot of that's dependent on us, but you wanna start that conversation so you guys can start thinking about it. Um, and I'll add actually something in what we've done in 314 so far is that we have not had a build of 314 in, I want to say, over a year. Yep. Um, so there have been some changes since then that have not gotten any, um, you know, exercise. Massive, massive exercise. So, so. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but shouldn't. But we'll be honest, every time we've taken a fix from Microsoft <laughs> – at Fire Giant, we've had to go. We've had to go fix it. Um, we had to go fix it because one of our customers had a bug in the code change that came from Microsoft that we took in 3.14. So um, we we know you're not them, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> we love you dearly and we miss you, um, and we'd love for you to come hang out with us more. Um, but uh, just so you know, like there have been those kind of hiccups that we've had to go back and um, fix. And then we've also brought those those fixes back from FireGiant into Wix 314 as well, even though we made them for other customers too. So just something to do that. No, we 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 don't. They were um, just things where we're like, you know, we probably shouldn't take this, but we're going to be nice. And then we did, and then we always paid. We always ended up paying for it somewhere else. <laughs> The SQL TLS thing was particularly frustrating. Important <laughs> lesson learned. Don't because be that came from the SQL team. <laughs> <laughs> and and they didn't get it right. So we had to. Anyway, so um, just, I, I, not to worry, but just what we're saying is that there have been those fixes. They've been hard. They've always found something. So um, there we go. I, I will let you guys finish these PRs. We will roll 314 to continue to have 314 support the ARM thing, uh, processor differences. Uh, emulation to emulators is just a fascinating thing I never would have dreamed of, which apparently Windows didn't too until they got two versions later, one version later. Eh, it's one version. But how many versions of Windows 10? Anyway, yeah, it's all um, things like that. Sorry, Eric, I wasn't saying you would have mistakes. I'm thinking you'll want to think about potential mistakes of the things that other Microsoft people contribute to Wix that you may pick up on 314. Again, for because it's been, I think it was last May is when we did the last yeah. build. So. Yeah. Yeah. so, all right. So, uh, so when, when is the next build, do you think? Because there's two things I'm kind of interested in. Okay. Like when I was, when bur building burn bundles under FIPS, it's still using a non FIPS algorithm. Okay. So there's just a one little tweak to, make it start using the FIPS approved algorithm. So let me back up. I don't have any need. Um, I have no schedule for 314. Um, I will do the work when people need it. Delta five days. So if someone says they want it, I'll get it done in five days. That feels like how fast I'm running through molasses right now. So um, after that, it'll turn into Eric and you and Bob who on this PR of how quickly do you guys need to turn this thing around giving Windows 11 is around right around the corner um, and how many other things do you want to put in 314 in that time frame um, uh, let me know I guess is kind of what I'm saying on the 314 schedule does that make sense okay so um, I can say that differently um, Sean why don't you say when you want the 314 schedule <laughs> it's up to you. Well, I, I mean, really, because like, I, I, you or Bob have been on this native machine thing more. I don't know who's kind of leading the discussion on it. It's definitely not me. Um, and since the ARM thing is the thing that's driving the 314, if there are other things that you want to put in, because um, I trust that you will do the right things in 314, then I'll let you decide, you know, I want these set of things with this. There you go. Does that make sense? I guess I guess my point was I wasn't sure whether Bob was going to accept the PR and then you're going to build it like an hour later. No. Nope. Uh, I, let me say that differently. 
you let me know when you're ready for that PR to get built. And Eric, if you really want it, lean on Sean and then he will um, declare, yes, I'm, I'm the, the arm thing and whatever else is ready to go for the next 314 level. Sound good? Okay. Cool. And Sean, you can do the, the V3 PR. I'll do the V4 PR. So there's no confusion. Okay. Well, V4 first, so just have to wait for you to accept yours. Oh. <laughs> no. No, we don't have to. We have the we have the pull request that 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 I think meets the spirit of the guideline. <laughs> Do you disagree? I mean, I, I'm not that we've been, you know, horribly consistent on that guideline anyway. I think he has to pull those build time or the the variables. That's all he has to change, right? I didn't really look too closely. I yeah, I haven't either. Just freely admitting. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I can do the V3 one. All right, just let me know, and then I will put it in my queue to execute the build, and it will happen within five days. That's kind of my my turnaround time right now. Um, I, so, I also suggested that, Sean, because it sounded like you were interested in changing the burn for the FIPS thing. Did I read that wrong? Well, yeah, but that's orthogonal to this pull request. Sorry, I thought you wanted to get that change and then get that change in a build. Yeah, I wanted... There's a couple changes I want if we're doing a build. Okay. That's why I was saying you could you you could hand off to Rob. But am I going to send a pull request and merge it myself? No, I, I'll look at it. Me, yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I don't know how we're going to get a private build for Eric. Like, I don't have the ability to build it. It'd probably be easier for him to just build it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't do a full build, but. No, we'll, we'll just you know. do it. We'll, like, when we feel like we have all the right changes in there, we'll just do a full build. I, I just wrote this in the thing. Um, we'll, we'll do official build, and we send the link out to Wix Dev saying, hey, here's the next 314 build. People should look at it. Um, namely, in this case, Eric with all of the ARM architecture stuff. Um, he can vet the properly signed and all that kind of stuff. And when that's good, then we can go, well, I guess we're not, we'll update the website at that point to here's the latest 314 build, you know, in the dev builds kind of thing. So that's always been totally a, a process, right? A, an available process to us. And if we find a big problem, then we will take a fix and run another build and then vet it again before putting on the website and declaring it. Yeah, that one, that's what you want. So, not a problem, Cool. not a problem. Yes, we will, as soon as we uh, test prior to cranking a release, sign latest validation. Well, if you wanna do a private build, by all means, keep up, you know, look at the Wix 3 PRs as they get accepted and then keep building privately and locally. That is totally fantastic in doing that. Um, I'm going to trust the PR when Sean says, "Yeah, this is let's let's run here, and then we'll kick the build process off and all that kind of stuff." So, because we always have to get it through all the signing process to really know if Cosmic Rays didn't corrupt the system. Cool. Cool. All right. Bob's categories. So let's um, let's go back. What more do you want? <laughs> High praise. I'm yep. kind of waiting, trying to give a slight pause for Eric to go, yep, good, good, whichever way. Um, Jacob's like chilling out there. He's like, haha, not my issue. Uh, ARM64, maybe also something he's not too worried about. Um, so let's see. Da, 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 da. Yep, all right. I'm scrolling. The 
words that are not allowed on Twitch are very interesting. You know, I don't even know. Recording. I really do want to discuss that. I don't even know what that means. It's like it's like why is that a? I have to go to Urban Dictionary to figure out what these problem what the problem with these letters are. Right. And that time it was not CHPE, which is also known as Chippy. So. All right. All right. All right. Good. 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 All right, so we're going on. I'm trying to, like, everybody's saying yes. We're ready to go forward. I want to make sure we close these things up properly. Ship it. Ship it. Okay. Are these all gone? Yes. So that and that. All right. Okay. Um, design discussions. We had a fun one on round arm that we didn't expect to do, or rather, I got the notice after I sent out the email about everything. Um, but we knew we were going to do it in triage, so that's all good. Uh, Sean, do you want to talk about canceled XE rollback behavior, or do you want to go one more week? Also, I think there's something on Wix devs that I have not been tracking that you have a whip on as well. Yep, the reinstall mode. So uh, what do you want to do there, Sean? Oh, right. Do you want Can to we do the NetFX? The NetFX one? I want to. I'm not ready to do that one quite yet. So That's for the, this new 314 build, can we just fix the hashes? Yes, because they're not no. going. No. In the certificate or whatever. Can't fix the hashes. Well, the certificate thumbprint. Uh, can we just run heat on the one that's on the website today and put that in the new 314 build? And declare failure. <laughs> and hope they don't update it again. Well, that's no, the best we're going to get on three. That. Wait, do they keep changing the certificate? Yes. No. This, this, so I'm, I don't know how far we can talk about this without delving into the. No, I guess we are. Let's do it for problem. 314 since we're here. Sean's right. Like if we're going to touch this in 314, now it's the time to do it. Okay. In the context of 314, not in the context of four. I guess that's. Sure. Let's do it that way. Okay. Go. <laughs> so, okay. So my only, uh, so, I, I don't, I haven't memorized these issue numbers. Sorry. Um, my understanding is we have the, okay, they're changing. The hashes are changing. The, the, the certificate has changed. Um, we expect the certificate to not continue to change because it was an update to get to a SHA-2 cert. They've done that. It probably will not change. Yeah, that's our best for hope For some, right some period of time. And that's our hope because, of course, this isn't documented. This wasn't discussed. It was just, you know, dropped on us on a Friday afternoon and done by Monday. Yep. 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 Um, not, but we – the. We know their intent, their stated intent, is to update the targets of these FW links. So that that's a thing. That's going to keep happening. Yep. Um, so the one alternative is to use the cert only and not include the, the hashes in the authoring. I mean, I burn ignores the hashes. If the cert's there, burn three ignores the hashes. If a thumbprint is provided for the certificate, burn ignores the hashes for the files. That's that's just horrible. Okay, three. I did didn't know that. Is that the same behavior in four? No, in four there is no certificate. Oh, there's no certs. Right, that's right. I feel much better about that. And that's the part okay. that we have to go back and kind of walk around all of those pieces. Right, which is right. why I'm not and mentally prepared to do all of that. Sure, sure, right. and that's fine. Um, given it, given that behavior in burn v3, which I'm I'm, I find shocking and 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 just a little bit disgusted by. Um, I think we're fine. All we have to do is update the cert thumbprints and we're good, right? Yep. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure you guys yeah, are okay we, with that before yeah, I we, waste we've, my time we've, no, no, updating we've, it. Well, <laughs> we've given up on the the. They're not fixing it, so um, not that I. Not that there was any way to fix it, given the way that they executed the 
change over in a .NET framework. It was just like, yeah, here, we're just going to break everything, survive. Um, so we're on the other side, and they've created two worlds that can't coexist at the same time, so we may as well adopt the world that is going forward as opposed to the world that was past. And that's what we're doing by updating the certificate key. And we hope they don't do it again. That's it. That's all we got. Yeah. Uh, Eric, the story is .NET framework change certificates to go to SHA-2. Um, part of the frustration, just for a little background, is that we um, they, they announced it on a Friday that they were going to do this, and then they pulled the trigger on Monday to update all the links. And so burn any burn bundle out there that wanted to trust, yeah, wanted to trust on their framework was suddenly broken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, and, we, we raised a little bit of a stink about it and just, there was just no real response as to, yeah, sorry. It just was kind of like, yeah, we did that. And the whole execution and rollout of it was a little bit extra galling on top of it. It was just like, uh, could we at least have had a chance to think about it? Um, yeah. Yeah, Eric, you're you're familiar with the uh, loss of downloads that were not rebuilt with the SHA-2 cert. Yeah. So anyway, the whole the whole stuff thing like that was... just disappeared. So they were they were willing to break, you know, the cardinal rules of of URLs and remove downloads and not replace them. So yeah. the idea that someone might be bothered by a changing target is just like yeah, I know. Not, and, not and, it, and it wasn't a theoretical problem. We had customers that were broken. So they were, and we just told them, yeah, you're just kind of at this point screwed. You have to ship a new product to get things working again. So people were rolling out new versions of all their stuff. Anyway, um, and we don't have a secure system to handle those things yet, which is what all these numbers on the screen on the future discussion is. Of, is there some way that we can come up to not have all these problems and still have a secure system? And I don't know that there is a way to thread that needle. But um, so, yes, so Sean, the short answer is, yeah, what you said. That sounds great for 314. Cool. And let's move on. Is there anything else people want to talk about? We'll come back to the XDs and stuff like that another day. Other things going on. Jacob, you've been chill out there, although I do appreciate the comment that the run once key hasn't been a problem for you as you've been rolling out in the world. And we haven't had people, our customers, at FireGiant complaining either, but we also tell them to sign their stuff to get around any virus problems, and that tends to solve the problem at a root. Um, I think In Cahoots has work to go do, and he looked, seemed quite excited to go do that, which is fantastic. He even has an issue assigned to him. And uh, we probably sh could give the processor architecture to Already Eric. Done. Oh, thank you. I just have to refresh well, my screen. Eric, me, and Sean. Oh, all right. We got a whole party there. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's a party. Uh, you uh, could have just assigned the pull request to me. <laughs> <laughs> Signing I in. I, I'm with you, Jacob. I could have. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wish Sean had been around when we were still meeting in the, the hallowed halls of Microsoft. I think you guys would have would have got along just well, really well. Although, it's been interesting to see um, a debate between Sean and Frederick. Right, Bob? That could have been interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, all right. On that note, I think we've got another uh, meeting in the wraps. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, whatever's left of it for you. And we'll be back. So, oh, I want to throw this out there. Um, I'm still adjusting to the new schedule um, with kids in school and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm toying with the idea of maybe moving the meetings to Mondays. Um, and I'm always willing to reevaluate the times there. Um, but that may end up fitting a little bit better in the world. Uh, so while I have you guys here, anybody, does Monday like absolutely not work for anybody? You just have to work around a lot of holidays. Yeah, that's, that's fair. True. That's true. That's but the only problem with Mondays. That's the only problem with Mondays, all right.
uh, real quick, Eric, the answer to um, we don't just trust any signatures because if we trusted any signature, you could put any signed file in the place of that file and we would execute it elevated. So it, it can't be any file. It has to be the right file, which at least we validated within the bounds of a single company. So the only thing you could then do is swap out with a different file from the same company. Um, yes, so. and companies like Microsoft make so few files, well, not a problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, you could swap out .NET Framework for Office <laughs> or or something else or, or um, Flight Sim to get a little bit more um, entertaining um, and have it all roll out. But anyway, okay, well, yeah. And holidays on Mondays is a challenge, um, but it may just make the world work a little smoother, which isn't right now. So, yeah, welcome to our pain, Eric. If you come up with a solution, which you might, because there have been times when I've given you hard problems, you came back and said, how about this? Um, then we would love to hear them. I have not sat down for a long time and thought about it, but I have not, in the time of designing Burn all the way till now, come up with something that has a secure system all the way through that allows the files to be updated remotely in no matter what kind of fashion, because no matter what is a security vulnerability. Turns out yeah. it's a security vulnerability. <laughs> um, all right, on that note, it's fantastic. It's great having several of you in the um, the the comment area. What's this this thing? The Chat? Stream I, chat. Stream chat. Um, I call it, used to call it peanut gallery, which was never, I, I liked it because I thought, you know, they'd be throwing the peanuts at us, but um, it never quite captured the gravitas of the, the conversations that we had to do there. Um, so, anyway, it's fantastic having several of you here. Uh, look forward to all the, the changes coming along the things, and then we will... Um, <sighs> And we will move forward from there. It's fantastic having you here. We'll be back in two weeks. Not going to change at this point. I'm going to continue to noodle and see how the the process runs for a little bit here. So that says September 23rd, same time, same place, two weeks from now. Till then, you guys take it easy. We'll be back. Bye. Bye. Bye.